and Thursday. A movie about a late Heritage High School graduate moves forward today. Katie Beth Carter's family heard the kind Katie script for the first time. Alana LaFleur shows us how they reacted to the movie honoring their loved one. Alana. Josh, Katie Beth died last year after her car collided with an 18-wheeler. Her family says the script does a good job at honoring her. Memories of Katie Beth Carter fill up her family's living room. Before she died, pictures on the wall show her dream of dancing at the collegiate level had just come true. She loved to dance. She loved life. And then her senior year hit. That's when the movie about her, Kind Katie, starts off. The boots she wore as a Jacksonville State marching ballerina sit on her family's fireplace as they read through the script for Kind Katie. Interior Carter home morning. For the first time. You know, there were some, some things that were funny and there were a few things that, that brought up some, uh, you know, some tough emotions as well. But yeah, pretty, pretty exciting just initially. Excitement for the script honoring Katie Beth is mixed with sadness for her mom, Amy. It still all feels feels very surreal to us, so, you know, we're, we're trying to heal, but it's still very painful. John Graham is a family friend and the movie's producer who helped write the script. There's a real uh, heaviness to my heart because I want to make sure that I do right by the family, do right by Katie Beth, and also am able to put together a story that, uh, that clearly communicates as much as we can in 90 minutes. Katie Beth's dad, Jason, says they want people who see the movie to know that it's about more than Katie Beth. Ultimately, um, I don't want people to walk away simply knowing about my daughter. You know, what we hope that the movie will do is to show people that they can also leave a legacy to, to people in the world, that they can make a difference and that, that their life uh, can mean something to someone else. Katie Beth's family started a ministry in her honor back in January. It's called Live and Love Ministries. Her dad and brother had it on bracelets like these today, that slogan. And they say those are two things that Katie did well. Josh. A lot of thank you. The movie's producers say they will start shooting once they secure funding. So far, they have about $14,000 of the $1 million they need.